Hello all again. Um, as promised I did some extensive testing the last two evenings about this uh, ground loop special circuit. And uh, to get some, some kind of uh, efficiency uh, measurements out of it. But uh, after a few days I'm not, not really impressed uh, about it. Um, this is the circuit. I've made some changes. I have here a 5 kilo ohm potentiometer instead of the fixed one, so I can tune a little bit. And I found that uh, the C is uh, better for my transistor MGE 13007 to be 6 nanofarad. This, this gives me the highest uh, output peak. Uh, and I put in a, uh, a capacitor to ground a 1000 microfarad 16 volt capacitor to be able to have some uh, some uh, DC voltage there and this is the circuit at the moment still the fixed toroid transistor this is the 6 nanofarad, 5, 5 point something nanofarad capacitor. I put this cap on the outside and still have the uh, 5 kilo ohm variable resistor there. Still uh, feeding of a uh, rechargeable double uh, A battery. At the moment uh, steadily going down after two days of experimenting. 1.2 volts. Now if the red probe is on the emitter and I have the yellow probe it's on the uh, the plus of the uh, capacitor. So that would be uh, this point somewhere here. And this will is be is are the traces. The upper one is the red one. It's a uh, what is it? 9.4 volts peak peak, but it's a very uh, irregular graph. So this is the maximum I can tune 9 volt. Looks impressive, but uh, and uh, the other side is the output on the capacitor and that's at the moment some 444 volts but uh, as soon I, as I put some load on it like a LED it drops to about uh, 2 volts and also the peak to peak goes down to, uh, to 7 volts so uh, when I measure the efficiency that way it's, it's about 42% uh, something like that so it's not uh, not that impressive but uh, I'm still finding out uh, how to get the best load out of it the output measure the output uh, I will uh, I've done some other testing and I will uh, continue with uh, with this after some uh, some pausing I will first put in the LED and see what that what kind of effect that has on the uh, On the on the output and the the, the waveform. Okay, I've put in uh, the LED just across the uh, capacitor, something here, and nothing changed. And you see that the uh, peak to peak voltage has dropped to 7.6, and uh, the voltage across the capacitor is down to 2.6 volts, so it's almost in half. So that's uh, not that impressive uh, I think. Uh, I found another way to get some load on it and that is to put uh, my dual teeth I created the other day which had this high efficiency and put it on a load behind this uh, special ground loop circuit 
and see what uh, what that makes and that's the next thing I will do so uh, hang on and uh, I will change it uh, in a few moments okay I'm back again so I hooked up the uh, dual teeth with the LED on just across the cap of the uh, special circuit and nothing changed the probe is still on the the yellow probe is still on the, uh, the plus of the cap and the red probe still on the uh, emitter looking at the scope shots you can see that the uh, the peak voltage has dropped 4.85 volt and that uh, the uh, the voltage all across the cap is uh, around 8.8 volt 800 millivolt it still drives uh, the dual teeth because it, uh, it still runs on that uh, but if I now measure the uh, efficiency which I did before across the 1 ohm resistor here calculate the input and I do the same as input of the dual teeth which is the output of the special ground loop circuit and my calculations show that uh, efficiency is about uh, 42 percent so it's it's not that impressive um, I can tune a little bit but it does not really change much frequency or whatever but It, it changes the output of the LED, but the voltage stays the same. You can pick it somewhere at 8. So that's not very, very impressive uh, up to now. Um, next thing I will do is to do some, uh, some tweaking of uh, this... Uh, special ground loop circuit like he proposed by inserting uh, some this is the schematic to insert some L3 coil on the same uh, resonance frequency which would be around uh, at the moment 146 kilohertz it changes but uh, uh, and also change the output back the uh, the uh, diode back to the pl to the uh, plus of the battery, but uh, uh, I will try to do that and uh, come back with the result. Okay, I'm back again. So I modified modified the uh, circuit to look this way, and I have inserted the L3 coil. I tried many coils. This coil is from a Bedini bifiller coil. One hooked up, the other ones is the other windings are open. Uh, I measured yesterday. This coil resonates at about 150 kilohertz, so it should be into the range we just saw. Uh, put the LED to ground and the uh, diode to the plus. still have the 1.2 volts from the battery I have no uh, LED uh, uh, lit at the moment and I have this scope trace frequency is around uh, 155 kilohertz peak voltage 9 volts still that's on the red probe that's on the emitter and uh, the other probe is on the uh, the base of the diode and that's about uh, 3 volt peak well I can tune with the uh, burial resistor that the LED will lit somewhat up but uh, very very dimly 
it's about uh, well this is the best I can do and then the scope shot, shot has changed frequency lowered so way out of the resonance of the uh, the coil L3 coil the peak voltage has dropped and this one has uh, has risen so I can tune a little bit with this but uh, It does not make really uh, the LED goes on, uh, so. So thanks for your uh, <laughs> your circuit ground loop. Was uh, great fun uh, experimenting with it, but uh, I don't think it's really a candidate for uh, for high efficiency. So uh, I tried several uh, coils on it, which I had around. I made one a big one. I had some other coils but uh, none of them uh, made any big difference it seems like the resonance frequency is not not really uh, brought into play in this and not, I don't know why well anyway it was fun experimenting with this but I think I will leave it and I continue with my uh, dual teeth to see if I can uh, do something with it okay thanks for watching bye bye